All right, so now we have the charge plate. Uh, charge plate, uh, I'm not familiar with this. I don't know if this is new to the series, but uh, I also didn't buy the um, Nintendo DS uh, versions of the game. I th or maybe I did, but I just didn't play it very well. Um, so this is new to me. Uh, this is also looks like a sword and shield type of weapon, but let's see what the handler has to say. The charge blade has two forms, sword and axe. Store up energy in a file, then release it through the axe. Okay, so apparently we we oh it's it's slower than uh it's slower than the uh, sword and shield when you're running, but looks like you can still block. Oh, you it's a bigger shield because uh looks like you're guarding as if you're carrying a lance or a gun lance, so that's good. Okay. So to morph your weapon, you hold triangle or you hold block and press triangle. So now it's an axe. That is so weird. That is cool though. So it's different. Uh, different is good. I'm thinking already like Bloodborne, like with your weapon switching uh, to different configurations. But that's cool. Um, okay, let's go back to the sword. So first, we need to figure out what she was talking about. So she talked about charge files. Uh, so let's hold R2 and press circle. What did, what, what did I do, actually? Hmm. I don't know what I did, but okay, charge file. I don't see any files being charged. Um, if you look on the upper left-hand side, there they have like little bottles, but they're all empty. Let's see if attacking something makes that file um, go higher. So, okay, let's first press triangle. Triangle, triangle. Oh wow, this is like the old combo from uh, the Sword and Shield back in the Monster Hunter uh, Unite. Um, but okay. That's good. Okay, so I'm attacking and it uh, looks like uh, the weapon is glowing. You see that? Now it's red. Let's see if uh, charging the file does something. Okay, so, so once you charge it, Okay, so the glow disappears. And it looks like this is doing poison damage. Let's actually look at that. Um, impact file. Uh, let's say poison, uh, 200%. Okay. So that's good, that's good. So this is a poison damage weapon Look from what it looks like. Okay, and uh, the more you attack while uh, using the sword, um, you charge your file. Okay, so let's do the basic combo, triangle, circle. Hmm. Forward slash, then triangle, triangle. Okay, now sword combo to boost sword mode okay so hold circle oh what the heck you charged up too much blade energy you need to charge so that your attacks don't get deflected wait charge wait what why is the sword glowing charge uh, okay let's do that again let's see getting deflected why I wasn't paying attention to her so okay so let's switch it to the axe let's see what happens okay so huh 
So if I overcharge the weapon, uh, looks like you end up being deflected. Okay, so that is weird. Okay, let's try that again. Let's see. So hold circle, R2 circle. That's cool. Uh, some sliding slash. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's try the combo again. Sword combo to boost sword mode. Okay. Hold circle. R2 circle. Then triangle. Okay, so it's which? Is that what it was? Let's try that again. Hold circle, R2 circle. No. To sword mode. Hmm. Well, we'll figure that out as we go. Okay. So now we'll try combo into amped elemental discharge. Let's see. Moving forward, circle, circle. No, that's not it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Really weird combos here. Okay, so let's try this again. Uh, let's go ahead and switch to the axe. So hold on R2 and press triangle to switch to axe. Okay, so now that we're on the axe, uh, let's see. Let's see the triangle attacks first. Hmm. So that's a triangle attack. Let's see if it uh, eats up uh, any of the files. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's uh, charge your sword again. So, best way to charge the sword is hold down the circle. Okay, so now it's overcharged. Let's go ahead and Put it in and switch back to the axe. Okay. So looks like pressing circle discharges the the elemental thing on the axe. So let's go ahead and press. Uh, let's see, triangle circle. Okay. Huh. That's cool. Okay, so that's um, that's being on the axe and pressing triangle circle. You immediately uh, throw a charge at the. That's pretty cool, and it does a significant amount of damage. This is comparable to um, a charge attack from the great sword, or one of the charge attacks from the great sword. So that's pretty good. Okay, now let's go back to the axe again. And let's see. Do a dash slam. So, so moving forward and pressing triangle does this. Okay. So you become very slow as if you're carrying... Uh, a great sword. Now let's do circle, circle. Okay. Let's go ahead and charge it again.
Let's see. Okay, so once it turns red, you you get a full stack of your files. Okay, so let's switch back to the axe. We'll do the full circle combo. So basically, circle, circle, circle. That does a lot of damage, so that's pretty good. Okay, so um, this one has the capability to be able to block like a, like a Lancer. And also, but uh, still be able to move. Does it look like you can use the Slinger for this one? While uh, you're carrying your shield like this, you can't use the Slinger. Um, but you also have uh, a lot of damage uh, as if you're using a great sword. So uh, this is a nice weapon um, and it's called the charge blade. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, looks like it's uh, more elemental based, but that's uh, it's pretty good. Let's do the running attack or the jumping attack. Let's go ahead and jump. Surprised it's still dark. I was hoping uh, you'll see the sun already, but no sun still. Okay, let's go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so that's a basic uh, jumping attack. Okay, then uh, that is the charge blade. I am still hearing like some flute or something over here. I don't know where, what that is. 